we moved um, from the third room to the tournament room because we felt like the lighting was better in here. We have more room. Got pictures to look at <laughs> back there. Well, there are pictures in the third room. but Still have pictures here. We so. think that um, we look better in here. <laughs> <laughs> we have more room. That's true. So anyway, let me move that. Okay. And that's right. Open this. Let's see if anybody's here yet. No. Not in the first thirty seconds. Come on. Well, people. yeah, I don't have a lot of followers. I was just kidding. Oh. Most people don't have anybody in the first thirty seconds <laughs> of the stream. It says zero. Dang. Sometimes there's like one or two though when it says zero. Okay. All right. Well, we we don't need you guys to get right. started. So I let's just get a little game plan going here mm -hmm. while people decide to show up. I think you could definitely play some games first. Play some games? And okay. then we can uh we can go over some more some of that London. Okay. Just a little review. Maybe I can add another variation too today if mm -hmm. you wanted. All right, let me um where do I go to see challenges? Is it right here? Yeah. Oh, somebody sub. Oh, oh yay. Oh, yeah, we got six people and watching. And you can kind of see it. Yeah, you can see their name and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Stephen. Thanks, Maiden1. We were just talking about you. Um, oh, oh, we're getting rated, I guess. Oh, no, well, we're about to. Hey, C.L. Smith, we haven't seen you lately. I don't feel like I've seen you lately. Yeah, in fact, my dad was like, where's Hank Maiden1 <laughs> the other day? So. Um, That's true. Anyway, hey. Go, Karen. <laughs> hey, DK79. And Donkey thank Kong you for 79. the sub, Stephen Khan. Can. Khan. Khan. <laughs> <laughs> um, Do you know his favorite variation of the Sicilian? The Khan. The Khan? Yeah. Is there a Khan style of variation? Well, That's a there different is opening. one that's just called the Khan? Yeah, the Khan Sicilian. Oh, I don't even know yeah. about that one. Oh, rating with a party of 231. Yay. Thank you for the raid, GM Benjamin Frankel. How's it going, Callie Gambler? Mm -hmm. Hey, Dancing Tortoise and K2 K Oh, yeah, I got Hedgemar. tons of people here from the raid. Yay. Hey, Meepex. I actually do like the Khan Sicilian. Well, that's C.L. Smith. You're not Stephen Khan. Yay, there's Kangaroo. You should play the Smith Mora. Hey, Tensor Extension. Hey, Kangaroo, I did unban um, Doodling Dude on my stream, but... We'll see how it goes. You you might have to reban him. I don't know if he's even here. <laughs> I told him he has to be nice to you because you're no. more, <laughs> more important than he is. I agree with uh, Kangaroo. Well, I told him he has to be nice to you because you're more important. So. <laughs> <laughs> than me? Dang. No. <laughs> than Doodling Dude. Harsh. Oh, oh than Doodling Dude. Doodling Dude is, is um, less important than Kangaroo. How's obviously. it going, Sai? Oh, 200 I like Doodling Dude. Dudes. Come on, Lil. If you're here, doodling dude, come on, behave. He's the same age as my oldest son. If he's been honest about his age. If you hate the Smith Mora, you should just play n Night F6 on move three. Pam's watching Rosen? Aw. That's what I do. <laughs> yeah, he's come not on, in the chat. Pam. All right, well, you know, you it's doing? fine. Pam, I watch a bunch of different streams too. So, um, I don't hold it against Pam. I do. <laughs> oh, I love Rosen. But anyway, we're going to I still haven't had a chance to review all the things that Spencer has been telling me about the London. Hey Kiff 78. So, hey Pinky Jim. So, um probably, you know, apologize to people. I don't have a very good memory. So, he's going to go over some of the same ideas again with me. And I think I'm going to start out by playing somebody. Mm -hmm. And it looks like I have one challenge. Oh, he says to refresh your stream. Refreshing? You will see the, sh the train. I think, did we get to level two on the train? Yeah, yeah, there you go. Oh, there is a train. Level two hype train. Go train, train yay. So, um, I don't know if you guys... Um, let's see can even tell that we're in a different room today. There you are, doodling dude. Now listen, you missed my speech about behaving. <laughs> <laughs> you absolutely have to be very respectful to kangaroo, because 
I'm not going to lie. He's more important than most everybody on this swing. Thanks, Bishop Takes. <laughs> and so he can't be disrespected, all right? But you're back in, all right, on my swing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so anyway, I'm going to start out. I'm going to play somebody, and then Spencer's going to analyze the game, and then we're going to do – yeah, there's different stuff on the walls. We're in the tournament room at the chess club. We decided that was better than the third room. Um, so I don't know about the time control because I'm not going to play a whole lot of people because we're going to learn more about the London. So I generally like three or five unrated. So I'm going to pick the first guy who's going to crush me because he's 1,500. <laughs> that guy's rated, though. Oh, it is rated. I don't mind rated. Oh, all right. If, it's, if we're not doing hand and brain. Right. Let me real quick see what this says here. Okay. All right. Here we go. It's possible. And then I turned down. I know I should probably go E4, but I'm not. Why should you probably do e4? Well, it, se it seems like one time somebody told me that was the best move. Well, if you want to play white in a French, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. you play the London, so I wouldn't yeah. do that. <laughs> I mean, I play the French when I'm black, but... I've seen you play it as white. I have. I definitely have. Because you like to play queen b3 with white, I remember. Uh, but don't worry about that now. I'll make fun of you later for that. <laughs> I could take that actually. Oh, I think you told me to do this. I don't know why. Why can't I ever remember what I'm playing? <laughs> well, we never looked at this position, but. Oh, sorry. I'm still going to take. And I'm already behind on time, but not too bad. Yeah, speed it up. All right. What are people saying? Turn your volume up if you're watching. Well. Not us. He means, he means other people oh. that are watching. How is the volume? Oh, it's good. Because I thought I did all that. It's good. All right. And I can try to talk a little louder. Let me move this closer. Um, Just worry about the chess game right now. Well, you know. You can complain about the. There you go. Now you can read what the stupid <laughs> people have to say. Well, you didn't need to <laughs> resign. It's possible. I'd I think wonder he should resign. No, <laughs> I wonder all my pieces. <laughs> I mean, it's up to Rook and two pawns already. But good game. Yeah, well, you know, people beat me. That's true. When it, yeah, and you don't resign against my level in that situation. But um, 360p quality. For us in third world countries. I would consider that doodling dude mm -hmm. for the next stream. Q Hen, hey. <laughs> oh, yeah, you could s lower the uh, computer sounds. That wasn't Q Hen, though, was it? Hey, Frap. What am I doing? Is this too loud? Yeah, they said that that's too loud. Okay. Well, I got to make sure I can hear it. That's true. All right, so I lowered the um, computer sounds. Computer sounds. But all right, let me play somebody else. I think my uh, – we're not going to analyze. Did you want to analyze that before we move on? Or just no. All right, I'm going to play uh, the next guy, Neuranonim. I got your Old name Nur. better this time. The silent cat. All right, let me know about the um, sounds because I did turn that down, but I can barely hear it now. So – London and Dutch. Nice. Mm -hmm, yeah. Lundo Dutch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, you read the chat. I am, but they're just always talking. They're arguing about how loud it is. Well, is it too loud still? No. I mean, because I can barely hear it. No, uh, everybody's crazy except us. That's how it always is. <laughs> Haven't you been on the internet before? <laughs> Come on. All right. Um, 
But the other sounds are quieter now in comparison, right? Hangs mate in one, for example, or anybody's talking about it. Mm. Yeah, they hate us because they ain't us. What? Is somebody hating? No, no, that's what somebody said. Oh, we're getting hosted by Alberto. Thank you, I Alberto think, I think Romero. I this yesterday. Yeah, one whole viewer extra. You know what? A viewer is a viewer. You can't uh, look a gift horse in the mouth, Spencer. I could. It just wouldn't be right. Thank you, Alberto. The chessboard is still loud compared to us. Well, I don't know what to do about that at the moment. Hmm. Who's saying it's too loud? Most people. Really? Yeah. But you don't have to worry about it at the second. 200 cent to do's. I mean, if I turn it down too much, then I can't even hear it. That's true. I wonder if, oh, you know what? I wonder. Anyways, if, don't worry about that. Okay, right now. I think I know what I can do to fix it. Listen to your chess coach. Mm -hmm. National Master Spencer Feingold. <laughs> no, I think I know what to do to fix it. When we're done All here, right. I'll go into the device settings. And lower the system sounds, um, like or the, the chrome sounds or whatever. Yes. I agree. That's, That's what I was what thinking, I need actually. To do. I can do it. I can fix it. I got it. Yeah, we got it. Sorry about it. You just have to put up with it for a minute. I'm new to this, so I don't know how to do stuff. Yeah, we got it, though. Mm -hmm. Really solid play here by both players. And black played f5 on move one. Still solid. Mm -hmm. Spencer is the best. Finally, somebody who knows what they're talking about. Thank you, Bobby. Who said that? Some guy, Bobby. Yeah. Maybe it was Bobby Flay. Yeah, we're going to fix the alerts um, soon. <laughs> 200 cent to do's. Thank you, Grandmaster Benjamin Feingold. Yay. Thank you, Grandmaster. Yeah, K Karen doesn't usually play the Benoni. I don't think she's ever played the Benoni. I'd be willing to bet. I wouldn't know the Benoni. <laughs> 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 walked up and <laughs> spit on me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> In spite of my class that I'm taking. <laughs> well, you've only seen part one. By part two, you'll know what I'm a Benoni gonna know, is about. I'm going to know that Benoni very soon. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's see here. I don't really like my class. Spencer versus Mark Feingold. Well, I don't know Mark Feingold when it's M-A-R-C. So if that's another person that I don't know, then, uh, oh, interesting peace sacrifice here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't expect that. Well, you don't have to tell him. Well, I thought that that would, like, psych him out. He'd be like, oh, it's a peace sacrifice. Dang, maybe I shouldn't accept it or something. Um, I don't even see it. How is it a peace sack? <laughs> you hung a piece. I know, and I'm looking my best, and I don't even see it. So He just took it, his last move. Oh. There was a piece there? See? Oh, darn. I didn't even know. See, I didn't even know it was hanging. How did I miss that? I was worried too much about the volume and stuff. That's what I was saying. Don't worry about well, that. Well, I mean. Let me make fun of the people for saying that. No, I, no, I hung a piece. Darn. I'd still win. I didn't even know I lost a piece. I shouldn't have told you. Then you would have just been like. <laughs> Kept playing the game, do to do, <laughs> confident, you know, totally not a piece. I'm a pawn up. <laughs> All right. Nice uh, cat emote. That ruins the whole, you know. Shebang. Yeah, I wasn't feeling good, you know. Got pieces developed, and you know, hung a piece. All right. Yeah, Mike Comer wouldn't be able to know. Oh, but it does tell mm. you like, like they took a rook knight and pawn, and and he yeah, only but took I a rook and two pawns. Was, you know. So it does actually tell you that. So Mike Comer would still know who's ahead by looking not under the names of the of the players. Yeah. All right. 
Well, I'll move on from it. Oh, my dad said that the board and pieces look like his. Like how he has his board and pieces set up. The same color? I guess, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, he just changed all that. Just uh, play faster so you can win on time. Yeah. I probably would have played Rook C1 on the previous move. I thought about it. Pin the tail on the donkey. Those knights were, you know, I don't see knight moves very well, and they were all down in that area. And mm -hmm. I was like, I was worried I was going to get jumping forked. I do live in Atlanta, sort of. Suburb of Atlanta. Um, let me see about this situation. Yeah, Karen's got her own stream. That's right. Don't forget to play faster, though. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to come up with a move here. Just play a bad move. Um, That's okay. All right. Oh, no. Okay, no yeah, not that <laughs> bad, but, you know, regular bad. Okay, let me get back over here. Yeah, I have, this is terrible. I'm always low on time. Yeah, even a guy in a chat saying to play faster. Well. I think it's me, Pex. My problem. All right. There you go. If it's free, it's for me. Look, now you got three pawns for a piece. Both sides have two bishops. Oh, not anymore. Things change quick. That sounds horrible. <laughs> well, because this is, you know, I have these keys there. Um, That's a way of putting it. You shouldn't even say third world country. It's developing country. Come on. Everybody in developed countries like mine knows that. Darn, I only have 23 seconds left. It's all right. Just uh, bang out some moves. Uh, You're not banging them out. All right. Now you're talking. The first pre-move I've ever seen you play. That's not true. <laughs> In a while. Nice. Great moves. Oh, he gave you 15 seconds. Aw. He still should play as fast as you were playing, though. Yes. Now you got it. Now you're in the swing of things. Dang, giving you 15 seconds was suicide. Well, I will admit, uh, he played a good move G5 there. Ah, oh, shit. No, that's good. It's not good. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that, was not good. that was good, too. You got it. <laughs> uh, never play F6. Uh, That's been hanging for like three moves. Who cares? Just keep keep it going. But playing fast was good. Well, I mean, that's just result in the game, so. All right. Because uh, uh, way, either way, you would have lost. But yeah. here you gave yourself a chance. Yeah, okay. And he gave you a chance by giving you 15 seconds. That was seconds. very sweet of you, Nur Anomen. No nim. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry that I cursed. Um, well, what should we do? Do you, do you want, was there anything useful that you could analyze, or should we just move on into the London system? Yeah, we could do some Lundo. Okay. I wasn't really watching this game, okay. so I don't know what, it, what happened. Although uh -huh. I remember when he hung a piece, but that was about it. Yeah. Sorry, you want me to start it up? Yeah, definitely. I was just reading the chat for a second. Um, 
Well, I can play you next time, Cali Gambler. We're going to move it along. And I do need to add a couple of emotes. I'm not sure how many slots I have. But probably at least two. Looks good, too, huh, on the board. Yeah, it looks fine. All right, so uh, I thought I would just play through a little bit, and you'll tell me the moves you'd play with white. Okay. So we could start at move one. Yeah, and I'm sorry, you guys, but he's going to have to go back over the same material because I don't remember stuff very well. He got banned again. <laughs> do links do? <laughs> Classic. I, I looked at his, like, I can see, like, information because I'm a mod on my dad's channel. Yeah. Maybe everybody can see this, but I saw that he was banned from four channels, Doodling Dude. Oh. He's I didn't banned know from could, several channels. I didn't know you could, He told us that, that he was. That's not surprising. I didn't surprising. know that you could see that. All right, Doodling Dude, I'll talk to you about it later, but you're not coming back for today. you got to behave yourself. <laughs> Time out. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you can get back. What is that red spot on the screen? That's the center of the thing you're recording. So uh, you're recording this whole screen, and the red spot is the center. They can't see that, but we can. Oh. It's always been there. It's been I there the last few days. I've never noticed it. Wow. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's been there every time you've streamed. Okay. And I've been sitting here looking at it. <laughs> All right. Okay, well, let's get going. All right, so like, you, so you play white. When I say timeout, hang on. I mean timeout like he's a child. Child. <laughs> yeah. Obviously he's been banned, but I mean timeout in the sense of you know, he's a child. Anyway, I'm sorry. So go ahead. What? What did you? Say? You're playing white. Oh, you don't want me to drive? Why are you driving? I'm explaining the London to you, but I want you to tell me what you would play as white. All right, D four. Good job. <laughs> Obviously, move one and two are going to be pretty easy, but you know. All right, so um, bishop f4. Nice. You got it. Mm -hmm. Then I think probably you can do a couple of things, right? e3. That's what I would recommend. Okay. You could also play knight f3, but it had a problem that we talked about the last two days. A small problem. Yeah, I don't remember. I know I remember the problem. I just remember, I don't remember what it was. Okay, so anyway, um, yeah, there is no spot. It's only for us, so don't worry about it. I yeah, don't yeah, worry about that it. Was just Stop spamming about it. <laughs> Come on. So I would go. Um, all right, can knight f three? See, or, I don't want knight f three. Okay, because really. you like that knight d2. Right. So then in case they bring their... Oh, because they haven't moved e6 yet. To right. To block in the bishop. That's right. So I did remember a little something, but not much. Okay, so knight d2. I would just play c3 here. Oh, c3. I think okay. knight d2 is also fine. Okay. But c3 is, like, pretty easy to understand. Yeah. Okay, so now knight d2. Yeah, exactly right. Yeah. Yeah. You got it. Um, I'm 2200 USCF. Try hard chess. So I would think um, knight f3. Oh, knight g f3. <laughs> Obviously. But I'm going to tell you that Just my pedantic. instinct is to go h3 because I don't like my bishop taking it. Yeah, if they go here, you go there. And run it and I do that in real games, actually, make them. But still, then they move their pawn. I end up losing the, the f-pawn? A lot of times they do. Well, we're going to have to get our emote ready for that. I know. But <laughs> it's okay if they do a bad thing. You can't say, I hate it when my opponent does bad things. I know that it's a you bad know? thing, but I love my bishop. Oh, I understand. So it's kind of, uh, you know, double-edged. So what? Ha somebody asked, what happens if queen b6? Now we'll play queen b3. C4, Queen C2, and they mm -hmm. can't play Bishop F5. Right. But if we imagine our knight was here, yeah. and we play a less accurate move order, <laughs> they can indeed play Knight F, uh, Bishop F5. Right, because you can't take the bishop as is in when Rook is trapped. In yeah, the it's done for in the corner. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I don't remember what all happens if they do move their bishop up, though. 
You mean here? You just take it. It's take free. Take it. I know, but then they take. And then you're up a piece, so the game's over. <laughs> the end. You don't have to know more than that. You win. You're okay, up a piece. Okay, well then, all right. Then I what? Rook B1? I don't know. Rook C. Karen, you're a piece up. I know. So you don't analyze positions that you're a piece up in the opening. Okay, but. Are you going to analyze this? What if they do this? Now what do I do? <laughs> huh? What, no, what do I do I'm now? No, but it's not, it's not as obvious to me as to you, I'm just saying. But you do agree that you're a piece up. Yes. And that you're winning? You should yeah. be confident that you can beat somebody a piece up. You know, you, you're not going to be able to I analyze every, like, you, you can't analyze it. every piece sacrifice. I'm not saying analyze every piece sacrifice. But you, know? you showed me specifically what would happen. No. Yeah, you did, because you talked about bringing the, the queen. No, over. I, sh I showed you if they don't have their knights out, what you do. Because that is a little bit trickier. Like, uh. if, if they play it like this, where your rook is getting trapped. Mm -hmm. See, because we didn't have time to play knight d2 because they didn't play knight c6. Oh, I remember now. So now if they go here, we take it. Mm -hmm. And now it looks like you might lose, but you win. Mate. Yeah, but there was, an, okay, there was another variation. Yeah, without knight f6 Yeah. instead. So they play it like this move order here and like this mm -hmm. and then here. Still, you didn't have time for knight d2 because they didn't play knight f6. Right. But because they didn't play knight f6, their pawn here is hanging. So in this variation, we do all the same moves. This is the most complicated one, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the one I was talking about. Now queen b5 is the key move. Oh, okay. It might, I think it's the only winning move. So yeah, you have to know when it's the only winning move. Oh, that's when they, don't ha they haven't played knight f6 yet. Yeah, they didn't play knight oh, f6, okay. so that set off this chain of events. All right. Even though you didn't get knight d2, that's okay, because you get to do this. Mm -hmm. So okay. that's why it's important that they have both their knights out like this mm -hmm. before they start that deal, before they start this deal over here. I see. Okay. Yeah. Uh, just reading the chat a little bit. Any questions? Or <laughs> the coach is going too fast. Is that true? Do you feel that way, Karen? Who's saying that? Uh, I can't well, read the name from here. We went over Beelzebub. this before. BL sub. Um, he does go a little fast, but I can tell him this. <laughs> you didn't see the red spot yet. <laughs> <laughs> Classic <laughs> Mark. <laughs> but yeah, this is this was our this is our third run through of this. So yeah. I'm going a little faster than I than I the first you know. And yeah. Episode. No, I mean it's definitely fast because. Hey, it's, there's Pam. Hey, it's Pam. also furious. Oh, Pam's back from Eric's stream. Hey, I mean, we saw you on not Eric. Eric. <laughs> Wait, is it Eric? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, I was thinking Eric Hansen. I was like, that's not right. Look at Vanny Eric cheated Rosen. on us. <laughs> yeah, that was like. No, it's fine, Pam. We love Eric. Eh, he's all right. No, no, hey, I, I like him a lot. <laughs> I love Eric. I barely know him, but I like him a lot. Definitely. How many episodes with this? This coach? is our third time we talked about this. Mm -hmm. oh, Three yeah. days in a row. Why do I look so red like in this Like tic-tac-toe. I'm also, so we can claim in a the draw. other room. I look so red in here. Pink. You look brown. That's true. I am a little brown. <laughs> Just a little. I like this color better than white. I look too white in the room. Anyway. So, okay. So, let's chest. go like this. And now queen b6 doesn't work. So, we'll just play e6. Okay. Now, what are you going to do? Um... I thought we'd already gone past this. And I say that... Knight F three. Oh yeah, that's right. You might be right. Yeah. Because you were you were talking about how you didn't want I was H three. Right, but you know. But anyways, people will go here. A lot of low rated players they go here. Yeah, I have noticed that. Because uh, I know why they do that. Because they don't want to trade dark square bishops. They figure you have the bad bishop because you put all your pawns on dark squares, and their dark square bishops their good bishop because they put their pawns on white squares. I don't think they're thinking all that at this level. Maybe not. No. That's actually kind of what I thought when I f was first playing against the London. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, bishop d6 is important because you got to control e5. Both sides want to control e5 in this variation. Okay. All right, so your turn. Um, okay, so I guess bishop g5. Well, bishop g3. Oh, that's right. Come back. Oh, that's right. Yeah, usually you do that. I do usually do that, but... I would Forgot for a minute. Forgot about Dre. Well, because you were talking about running it around, but I didn't need that to. That was only that. after that. Right, right. Yeah, that's what I usually do. A lot of times they'll take at my yeah. level. You mean take here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, they can do that, but a super GM would castle here. 
or play b6 first, mm -hmm. I guess. But either way, what are you going to do now? Um, hmm. Well, I need to develop my light squared bishop. So I guess that's what I do. Which square is better? Um. Maybe a6. Just kidding. What? I said just kidding. I know, but a6. Yeah, it's a good square. Oh, okay. <laughs> JK. Um, I guess, you know, it seems I could go bishop e3. Seems like it. I mean, d3. Right, yeah, bishop d3. You're not going to get forked when they play d5, e6. Right. You're not going to get forked like that. Mm -hmm. So you don't have, I know you were thinking that, weren't you? No. Oh, okay. I was looking at them. They <laughs> might push the C pawn. But that's oh, yeah. In fact, if you were watching the beginning of my dad's stream, he was talking about how low-rated players do this, and it's bad. I wasn't watching the stream. But. So why is it bad? Well, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, are you going to miss pawn takes bishop? I missed it in the last, in the last game I played. <laughs> I miss. They took my. Pieces. But presumably you'd see it if they played C4. Yeah. We can, for the sake of argument. Yeah, because if I weren't talking and doing stuff, yeah, I wouldn't miss it. Yeah, so let's say you go here. So all this move did was hope that you miss pawn takes bishop. There's no benefit. It doesn't gain a tempo, for example, because, uh, I mean, you spe he spent a tempo to move it, and you spent a tempo to bring it back. Yeah. So that's even. So you don't think typically they would go there? Well, they might if they're weak, yes. Weak mm -hmm. players love to do that. But they release pressure here, so it makes it a lot easier for you to play this pawn break. Oh, yeah, that's right. You talked about that before. Exactly. Yeah, because mm -hmm. if you play this pawn break here, you might get an isolated pawn. If you can imagine all the pawns getting traded, you'll have an isolated d-pawn at the end. Let me see. Imagine an isolated. Oh, yeah, we talked about Because we had some position where you actually recommended taking the C pawn, but I'm sure it wasn't this position because you're sort of getting rid of it. Maybe that was a game that it we Yeah, it break. was it was like this, takes an E4. Yeah, but so that But that was later. That I reason. I suggested the castle, play yeah. Queen E2. You you don't want to do committal things unless you have no other way to improve the position or if mm -hmm. the whatever is committal is just good for you. And then you should always just do stuff that's good for you, obviously. But if you have like options, you usually like to choose the least committal option generally. Hey, there was a noise. Oh, a cheer. Thank 200 you, Jim bits. Benjamin Van Gogh. I barely heard that. Oh, yeah, we were going to fix the sound real quick. Oh, yeah, why don't you do that? Yeah. <coughs> 200 try. more bits. It's like a war with Sai and, and my dad. Yeah, let me. Um, we're going to pause the lesson for a moment and let me see if I can fix yeah, it. Yeah, I was on the stream the whole time. You can tell because I remembered the beginning of it. Mm, devices, okay, let's see. Um, you got it. Well, that's not right. No, no, yeah, devices isn't right. <laughs> well, you know, I can do it if you wanted me to. Oh, I, I know where the breaking is. Actually, let me do it. Yes, again. that's what I was going to do. You can get to it from the way I was doing it, mm -hmm. too, but you have to know. That's something. like the newer way to do it. This is the old school way. Yeah, both ways have been around. So here... Um, I actually wouldn't have gone here. Is this output device? It might be this one here. Okay. Yeah, the VG2. I'm not really sure. That might be better. It. Let's try that. We'll, we'll try it out and yeah, see what people say. Let me turn this back up so we can. Okay, so I need to do something real quick. Ben, can you do something? Make a noise. He cried the whole time because Pam wasn't there. <laughs> she was too busy on. Uh, oh yeah, so was that too loud? Two hundred uh, bit. Oh, Sai's got. Yeah, Sai is. Uh, Sai is matching him. Not loud, not enough. loud enough. Okay, but that was the correct thing. What? It's super. It's not super loud. not loud. Okay, well I did. So the that right worked. Thing. Um, this was the right one. Mm-hmm. Nice. Sixty nine. All right, let's do it one more That's time. That's the right level. <laughs> Band. Hey, try it one more. Don't want to be left out. How is that? Roar. Not ears. Not good. Not good. Too quiet still? 
Dang. And I crank it up a little. This is like louder than we had it originally. <laughs> I mean, all right, try, try it again, one more I time. Guess. Maybe I'm doing the wrong. Beal is a sub. Go, Karen and Spencer. All right, one more time. It was good originally, to be honest. People, well, people have different opinions. It, it's it's kind of apparent. Size got it. Two hundred bits. Sounds, Sounds fine for that person. Says. <laughs> oh, you know, we were hey, just Graham asking, Graham. like, do people watch chess streams who don't really play chess? Let me try the other speaker. Maybe when I'm done that one. Yeah, people. Oh yeah. Let me try this one. Because there's two speakers, right? And mm -hmm. I wasn't actually sure. Yeah, there's if it was real tech or the Nvidia. I try it again. Three hundred cent to do's. I was thinking people don't watch chess streams who don't play chess because it's oh great now. That's perfect. Perfect. Right, well, let me nice. look at what the settings are so I can remember. So about forty for the real tech. Real tech. And I don't actually. In I don't 84. think that one changes anything because people were no, always saying it's too quiet. No, when I changed. Oh, the other one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I yeah, think yeah, the, I agree. This one's right. Real yeah. tech. I don't know. This is nice. We're like scienti computer scientists. I think the NVIDIA is actually, if I have it coming out of the um, monitor. Okay, we're just figuring stuff out here. Sounds like we've solved that problem. Oh, yeah. we got some tier one subs. Yay, something happened. So many Too subs. Too bad it's so little I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> what does that say? Oh, these are all the... Um, Gift subs. Gift subs. Okay, thank you, GM Benjamin Fine Gold. <laughs> and you know, I kind of like the zombie guy now. I hate that guy. I hated him at first, he's but he's horrible. <laughs> he's so ugly and pixelated, and I will fix that. I will, I will not have that guy forever. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can do that before the next stream. Yeah, that'll be our next tech thing to change. Okay, so back to um. The chess lesson? Stuff, yeah. I'm terrible at chess, but still enjoy it. Hey, Lady Buell. Um, I'm not great either. Um, too quiet. I'm too quiet, Earth Goddess? No way. We're talking normal, probably. Can people hear me? And that's all I'm asking. Then we're going back to the lesson. Can people hear me? Anybody? All right, so you can hear me, Bells, Bells of Sub 40. I want to say Bells above, Bells of Sub. <laughs> I am 29. Well, I, you know, I just want Earth Goddess to be able to hear me. All right, we're going back. I'm sorry for that little digression. So where were we? Okay, so. So, yeah, C4, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, a strong player with black okay. will just play B6 because normally what you want to do in the opening is, like, develop your bishop, mm -hmm. not attack the opponent's bishop, missing the hoping they miss it because they're reading chat because <laughs> most of the time people aren't reading chat all right all right your turn um i would castle castling's fine the main line is 95 mm -hmm. 95 f4 so you can do that if you want or you can castle and try to play with e4 later like you can castle play queen e2 rookie one takes an e4 if I castle, is that no longer a valid idea to go on knight e5 and then f4? You could do that too. But usually if you're playing like knight e5, f4, you're, you can go for like a kingside attack. So mm -hmm. you might not want to castle kingside, at least not so early. Oh, I see. Like the reason you want to castle, if you're castling, the reason you want to do that is because you want to Push open the up the center. Okay. And if so if you're not going to open up the center, you don't really need to castle. Okay. You know, so you can block the center up with 95 f4. But right. anyways, if well, you do, if both. you mix and match those know. ideas, that's fine. All right. Like, if your opponent plays super precisely, you'll still be equal or maybe a little worse with white. Mm -hmm. So it's a like London's a very low risk opening. You don't have to play so precisely all the time. Yeah, that's one of the reasons I like the opening. Hear you great. My housemate doesn't. Oh, I see. Your housemate can't hear me. <laughs> All right. 200 more sent to do's. Yay, thank you, GM Benjamin Feingold. <laughs> <laughs> hey, B G, B eh. GM Benjamin Feingold does have a daughter. 
That's true. She's 18 now. Hey, Shivam. Oh, Shivam. Yeah. I know Shivam. I Shivam. We know Shivam. We miss you, Shivam. Well, speak for yourself. No, no, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> All right. So back to the lesson. But, I mean, you don't really need to know much more than this, right? You're going to get out all your pieces in Castle. You've already survived the opening. Okay. Wouldn't you say? Yeah. So let's look at another variation, then. Okay. That sounds good. Mm. I agree. All right. We can do a start here, right? Mm -hmm. I'll go like this. Remember this one? Um, when I get the bishop out so early? No. Yeah, this is the, the most recent thing we oh, looked yeah. at. We just added it on last oh, yesterday. Okay. We didn't look at this on day one. Um, let me think. I'm trying to remember right now. I don't remember what I'm supposed to do there. Oh, it's sort of, no. I don't know. Knight of three? Knight of three is okay. You know, it's okay to play knight f3 in this variation, so let's just do it. Okay, but what was the recommended? e3 is what I would recommend. Okay. It's not much different, though. All right. But it's not even the important. There is one important move later. Okay, I'm not going to remember this at all. Okay. But we'll go. I know you just added it in. I mm -hmm. vaguely remember that. <laughs> all right. Sound is perfect, they say. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what's next? Then I would say... Um... Hmm. <laughs> well, am I supposed to go ahead and go C3 then? Because you were recommending that before. C3? Isn't that what you just said? No, E3. Oh, E3. Okay, so Yeah, E3. Okay, E3. That makes more sense. Yeah, definitely. You want to I develop your bishop? Yeah, I was surprised you said. I thought you said C3. I'm like, I don't remember that at well, all. Maybe I did by accident, oh. but I didn't mean to. Okay. All right, but here's the important move. Um. Let's see. Important move. Yeah, it's sort of rare in a uh, in a London to play this move. Um, it's the move that I played against my dad in our blitz match. Magnus plays this with White all the time. He plays the same move every time. He had a, a nice game against Wesley. So he's had more than one game against So, and So also has mm. had this position with White and plays the same move. Yeah, I don't remember. Was it Bishop? Um, was it Bishop move? B5? No. Well, no, we'll play C6 then. Right, okay. That doesn't I don't make remember. any sense. C4! Okay, I just don't recall. I remember how when they you told me this, when they moved their bishop, their B pawn's weak. You're like, I know that. Yeah, oh yeah. And so we're playing C4, Queen B3 to try to attack that pawn. Oh yeah, now I remember. If necessary. Mm -hmm. But that's you, you shouldn't remember the move, you remember the idea. I do remember that idea. That's what you gotta do. You gotta say, but oh, I they moved their bishop out, so this pawn is weak, so I'm gonna play C4. Earlier, I mean, usually you don't even play C4 in right. London, so I'm going to play so, C4. Okay, so the queen can attack. Okay, I just didn't remember. Now, do you remember what black would play here? Black plays a weird move. Um, but it's basically the only move to equalize. Mm. Yeah, it, it, C4 is an explosive move. That's correct. Yeah, get that C4 E mode in here. Oh, Owen remembers. Pepperidge Farm remembers. <laughs> <laughs> the only move to equalize. Yeah, it's important to remember your opponent's ideas as well. Oh, yeah. His own bishop takes the, the knight? Yes. I do remember that. Yes, exactly. Because it's r weird when the queen mm -hmm. goes over to take. Yes. Recapture. Yeah, we could take with the queen. That's what I do. Mm -hmm. And then they'll check you. That's the idea. Get rid of your knight. So you can't block with the knight now. Yeah, I do remember that. You can't block with this knight either. This is important. Don't do that. Then you resign. Yeah. See, the reason you play queen takes is to play king d1. Mm -hmm. Okay, I do remember that. And yeah, that's all you need to know for now. You'll never get this position, so. I hate all that. What do you I hate? Mean, well, because then you can't castle. And... Oh, you hate having two bishops? <laughs> well, as we discussed... <laughs> My level, I'm not the best at coordinating the bishops anyway. But That's not, true. Not that I should not value them. 
but at your opponent's level, they won't be so good at punishing your king's position either. That's true. And it's sort of like it's a paradoxical position because mm -hmm. you want to open up the position when you have two bishops, but you don't want to open up the position when you can't castle. So it takes a, a little bit of fine-tuning to understand how both sides should play this. Yeah. You know, because, like, maybe black should open up the position if they can get some initiative. Mm -hmm. Or maybe white should open it up if your king's going to be safe and then your bishops will be good. So, yeah, you're going to need some experience in this position before you memorize any further than this. Yeah. I like seeing that, though, because since I always play rather safe, Mm -hmm. and do the same things, then I mean, a lot of my games are boring. And my most interesting and fun games are when I'm on, on Ben's stream, actually, because mm -hmm. I get to play high rated players. And so that it's always different positions than when I'm just randomly cha challenging somebody on chess.com. That's true. And usually. So I always enjoy those games more. Yeah, like if you play on my dad's in a tournament on my dad's stream, mm -hmm. strong players will do this against you if you remember the moves. Yeah. If you remember to play c4 and and queen takes, you can play king take. I mean rook takes, by the way. Yeah, that's what you were saying. But you just have to play obviously king e2 is the only move. That here. seems weird. And then g3, bishop g2. I saw a Karyakin game where he did this. Oh yeah. With white, I'll it's totally to, playable. I try to review all this before the next stream. Because if I have a chance to review it, then I can remember it much better. So that's the, the two things that we looked at when they play, like, d5 on move one. Mm -hmm. That's the two things that we've looked at so far. When they play the most classical way, you know, like a Queen's Gambit declined style. Or they could play, like, Bishop f5. I think that a lot of people who play Bishop f5, they'd be, like, a Slav player. So if you play the Slav, you, you'd like to play with Bishop f5, I think. Mm -hmm. But all right, we still have other stuff to review. Okay. All right, your turn. Um, so I would just do my normal bishop f4. Yeah. Why king e2 and not knight d2? Because knight e4 wins in that position still. Knight e4 is always winning there. You have to move your king. Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks, Clarks. I am pretty cool. I would have to agree with you. I'd be your friend because you're such an astute observer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, what is Pam talking about? Some people are just shout like, what? Oh, yeah, I think we're always review, repeat, retreat, and retweet. <laughs> He's right. Storm's got it. Hey, Storm. Um, okay, so... I don't know. I mean, King I, D2. No. Oh. You don't know just, what you'd play on I just two? said Bishop F4. Yeah, but, Bishop F4. Yeah. I just said I would do my normal. Yeah, there you got it. <laughs> and then, obviously, unless I do anything in Kettle. I guess I would just go E3. You got it. And then, Knight F3. Awesome. You're nailing it. Okay, so this is when I have to worry about my... So maybe H3? Very good. Really nice. Well, I remember that. It's just because I hate to lose the bishop. Yeah, that correlates with the move D6 here. Yeah. That's what you have to remember. All right, white to play. Okay. So I would probably say bishop E2. Bingo. Really good. You play bishop D3 in those other variations, but bishop E2 in this one. Because now you can theoretically get forked like you're always worried about when they play d6, e5. Mm -hmm. And also, one easy way to remember is when they fiend cut over their king's bishop, this diagonal's not great. Well, that's why I remembered because Ben yelled at me a few times about that. Oh, me too. Uh, <laughs> yeah, definitely. I remembered. We so, talked about it, you know, a year ago or months ago. You yeah, know. so I remember. Plus, there's just, there is really nowhere for the bishop to go when they fiend cut Mm-hmm. That's true. So... Okay. All right, so we can continue a little bit. Let's just say we go here. All right. Not the only move, but probably the most common, I would guess. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. You don't know any theory because you forget everything anyway. Well, Professor Farnsworth said it the best. 
What's the point of remembering anything if you're just going to forget it five seconds later? <laughs> well, but it, hopefully that, you know, the tenth time you remember it, then it'll stick a little better. Um, I don't know, because it seems like I always make the wrong choice here. Well, you have, like, there's a flexible move you can play to keep all of your options open. You'd play this move 100% of the time anyway, so you might as well play it right now. All right, well, knight bd2. Ooh, Is that's not it. Oh. Sometimes you'll play knight c3, right? Sometimes, sometimes you'll play I c4, and, and sometimes you play knight d2. So that's not flexible to make a decision of that now. You castle. Oh, okay. Don't you, you always castle here, don't you? Um, sometimes I delay it. But I, like, I've never, ever seen you castle queenside in a London, anyway. I have. Okay. I usually castle kingside. Yeah, but anyways, you would castle kingside here, mm -hmm. for sure. So what's black's plan here? That's a good question that somebody asked. I already forgot. Um, black has two main plans here, to play for e5 or c5. Uh, e5 is sort of like old school. I like to play for c5, personally. Um, but then I wouldn't play knight d2. I wouldn't even play d6 so early, but you can. Uh, you can also play b6, which uh, you had a game recently like that, actually. Mm -hmm. But let's just try to play for e5. I'll play queen e8. But this is where, by the way, rook e8, remember rook e8, e5, and you were talking about this position when you had a game today mm -hmm. where the guy played e5 in a totally different position and just hung the pawn without any tactics. But this was the position you were thinking about about how e5 loses a pawn in that situation. Oh, yeah. So that's why you have to play queen e8, so we don't trade queens. Oh, I see, yeah. All right, but now what would you do? It's like the TV show, What Would You Do? <laughs> All right, I see. Mm. Yeah, in this variation, you wouldn't typically castle queen, so I just talked to some people in the chat, by the way. Because uh, this bishop's really strong, and you're not really set up for a kingside attack here. You know, compare it to, like, a, a dragon, where they're playing, like, f3, g4, h4. Uh, you, you're not doing that. You're playing solid on the king side. So if you attack them on the king side, it'll be slower and less effective than, than a dragon, a typical dragon situation. Or maybe, like, for example, the same Mish King's Indian might be a better... Uh, a better, you know, related opening. I mean, I don't know what I'm supposed to do, but I can see that if there were a bunch of trades on e5, for example. You don't win a pawn that time. Right, and the bishop is going to take on, on b2. So I don't want that to happen. Well, that's not true. The bishop's yeah. going to jump over its knight? No, I'm saying that's what I was trying to see. So let's say they go e5. It's my turn. So, but if it weren't mm -hmm. my turn, then what might I expect? Maybe take the king side. Actually, th they'd have to move the knight. But Mepex has got the right idea. You you don't have to worry about e5. You'll just answer this with bishop h2. Yeah. So that's fine. You just have to figure out the most uh, precise way to develop your knight. That's the last thing you need to do in the opening. Mm -hmm. So how are you going to get that knight developed? Do you remember which way was better? No, but obviously if I'm going to move... Knight c3, then I need to go ahead and go c4. Yeah, that's what, and c4 is the best way to go in this variation. Okay. You'll attack on the queen side while they're trying to attack you on the king side. But because you play to London, your position's like really solid on the king side. Okay. And so... Um, so I don't have to take... No, obviously you shouldn't take. You shouldn't trade these two pawns. Okay. If you take, they'll just take back. So trading those two pawns is going to lose space for you. You don't want to lose space, do you? <laughs> no. Then I think most people play here. Then you'll develop your knight to d2, right? So if they're going to play oh. there, then why didn't they just uh, go there to begin with? There was a pawn on e7. They couldn't move, take oh, their own right. pawn. So, so that but they moved over. Mm -hmm. Why didn't they just wait? They had to prepare e5. They had to prepare e5. They can't play e5 here. It would lose a pawn. You're defending it three times. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. And they're only defending it twice. It, it would be perfect for black to go here and then here and then queen e7, but black can't do that because of the tactic we talked about. Oh, okay. So that's why black sort of has to waste the tempo in this variation I see, yeah. and do it like this. But that's a good question because that is kind of weird if you don't understand it. 
Like, why would you play Queenie 8 and Queenie 7? It's hard for me to visualize it after you've already moved to the basement. Right, right. So anyways, how are you developing your knight? I forgot. All right, well, knight c3. Yeah, knight c3, definitely. Yeah, c4, knight c3. Mm -hmm. Don't play knight d2, c4 like you always do. Knight c4, knight c3. Mm -hmm. If you're playing c4, it's knight c3. Well, that I know, but it's just what I don't ever know is whether I'm going to play c3 or c4. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, in this variation, it's better to play c4 so you can attack on the queen side. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And yeah, sometimes you play c4, like we saw in the bishop f5 variation, you play c4. But I would say usually you're playing c3 more often than not. Mm -hmm. Do we need to pause? For, does anybody have any que questions? I was answering some questions Why earlier. Why does it lose face? I don't understand that remark, says Bell's a sub 40. Oh, well, that's a good question. Uh, like here, for example, if you take, you're giving up some space. Basically, like in chess, you have more space the further advanced your pawns are. Right, that, that's what it means to have more space in chess almost always. I mean, I would say always. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's take a look at this position right here. If we look at the fourth rank, which is where white has most of the pawns advanced to, we got two pawns advanced to the fourth rank, right? Mm -hmm. If we look at black's fourth rank, which some might call the fifth rank, black only has one pawn on black's fourth rank. Right, so white has like a little bit more space here. However, if we trade it, and okay, let's we can move our bishop. You'll notice that white traded a pawn that was far farther advanced than black's pawn. And now both sides have a pawn on their own fourth ranks, equalizing space. Oh, I see. Yeah. I actually thought it meant something else. <laughs> oh, I mean trading these two pawns, you trade a pawn that's further advanced than your opponents. Yeah, I know. So you lose a little <laughs> bit of space that way. Great question, Bell says sub. I didn't understand it, and I thought I did. <laughs> Why isn't the black rook on the e-file better? Because it, you just can't do it. It's a tactical issue. If you go here and here, now there might be some knight h5 at some point. It, it actually might be okay. But the point is that you can't just play it kind of normal because your rook is overloaded. And white wins a pawn in this in this position. But yeah, maybe there's some tactic with knight h5 at some point. So you can maybe analyze that. I don't know if it turns out well for white, though. But most grandmasters just don't do that. Uh, well, that's sort of a different meaning of the word space. Like, space in chess is very specific. It just means you have more room for your pieces. If you trade pawns, the position becomes more open. You wouldn't say the position has more space. It's more open in that case. Mm -hmm. But, okay, now we're just arguing semantics, so it <laughs> doesn't matter too much. So you said there were some other questions. Um, hello, let's just scroll up just a little bit. Let's see if we can answer that one. More? Mm -hmm. Well, okay, maybe it was below it then. <clears throat> so they say, so does black play for F5 here, says Owen. Oh, uh, yeah, black can do that, but it's kind of difficult for black to get, uh, like, a really strong attack going in this variation because, um, like I said, white is very well defended as opposed to, like, a, a more traditional King's Indian defense where it's, like, the pawn is here and the bishop's there. It won't let me do random arrows, I forgot. Lee chess just makes you make any arrows you want. But if the bishop's there and you play e4 and, like, the pawn's on h h2 like in a normal king's indian defense um it's a little bit easier for black to go on the attack there uh, especially since white often closes the center early like in the main line of the king's indian defense you know maybe we can compare it just so because it's it's sort of important to understand mm -hmm. Definitely. you know like this you know this is like a main line king's indian defense here this is known as the mar del plata variation with knight c6, knight e7. So here the center's closed. And so it's a lot safer when the center's closed to play for f5. And because you don't have your bishop here defending, your bishop would be terribly placed in this particular position. But because it's not there, which, you know, like I said, it shouldn't be, it, it's going to be easier in, in theory to attack white's king. So that's why in a, in a normal king's Indian, black moves the knight and plays f5, f4, g5, and goes for mate. But in a London, it's 
White's not playing this aggressively in the center and isn't closing down the center. White's keeping tension in the center. So if you ever play like f5 at some point, we can take at a timely moment. And if the center opens up, it's more difficult for you to attack on the king side. That's a, a well-known chess axiom. If your opponent's playing too aggressively on, on the wing, you counterattack in the center. So you can break like this and take all the pawns and open it up. And that'll make, for example, if they play f5, it'll make this diagonal weaker, which is not something in a traditional King's Indian you have to worry about. So you're saying that if the center opens up, it's easier to attack if it's, you're a king? It's harder for them to attack us when we open up the center. Oh, okay. But isn't it also easier to attack there? Isn't opening it? What I'm saying here is that f5 mm -hmm. weakens the king. Right. But it, like, it weakens it on this diagonal. But if we close the center, then right. how are we going to attack on that diagonal? Right. So f5, it's easier for black to attack your king when the center's closed. Oh, okay. But it's e it's easier for us to counterattack if we ha if they play f5. We can counterattack on this diagonal. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Because we didn't close it down, we can open it up more with c5 mm -hmm. and take all these pawns. So that's the difference between like a London King's Indian and a traditional King's Indian is that it's harder to attack white's king. Um, you might think that it's strictly better for white then, but not necessarily. White's playing less aggressively and doesn't have as much space as white does in this position. So in a normal King's Indian, it's a lot sharper. And in a London, it's a little bit more, more solid and a little bit quieter. So that's the difference between, like, if, if you're wondering with white how to play against the King's Indian defense, mm -hmm. those are your options. Cool. I can't even see who. I've got to make the font bigger. Can you see that? I mean, no, like, I couldn't. It's too it's tiny. It's tiny. Okay, hang on. Thank you, whoever just did something. I've got to fix my font. Hang on. Oh, I've got to have it over here. Um, there you go. Where's the thing here? Darn. Well, somebody did something. I don't know who did it. But thank you. <laughs> Hey, bring up, um, bring up the Streamlabs one for a second. The other one, the browser. Yeah. Go to right there. And go to recent events. That couldn't be it. Is one minute ago, they donated twenty dollars. Oh. Puzzle hey, Pawn. Hey, Puzzle Pawn. Thank you. Oh, good that we got the donations alert, though. Yeah. Okay, we were wondering about that. that. Thank you. I was able to figure that. Just mem up. Yeah. Um, yeah, we have to. to <laughs> 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 hey, and we know Puzzle Pawn, but I'm not going to say it on the stream and get in trouble. All right. I believe you. Yeah. Very well. I saw him recently. Thank you, Puzzle Pawn. Um. And I will fix that for the future so that the font's not so tiny. Make the uh, following bigger, the following Well, the do donations. That was mm -hmm. a donation. I don't even have the follows. I, I meant a uh, sub, obviously. Well, that was a donation, though, wasn't it? 20? Yeah, I thought they were the same size. Is 20. it di they are they are they different they're sizes? No, they're all the same size. Oh, yeah. okay. I need to make them all, all right. bigger, the bits. And anyway. Putting on the bits. Thank you, Puzzle Pong. Okay. <laughs> Now that we have a big discussion. All right, back to the chess. All right. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, this I wouldn't analyze, m try to remember much more than this. Ten moves is pretty good. Yeah. Um, but the plan is to attack on the queen side. Okay. You'll play rook b1, b4, b5, c5, a5, b6, mm -hmm. mainly, etc. I'm getting a text message. Oh, okay. Don't say it. I, I, I know who I'm it was. I'm not going to say it. He was saying that I shouldn't say it, but he's telling me. Oh. So in but I don't have the habit of reading my text messages out loud. <laughs> oh, so he was letting you know who it was. Yeah, don't yeah. read it. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Okay. I thought he was saying thinking I would say it on the stream. I would definitely not. <laughs> but, not but thank you for reminding us. Okay. So anyway, so you think that's enough for this one? Yeah, definitely. All right. See, I'm trying to remember if we talked about... I mean, I briefly talked about other things. Like, if they play with C5 early. Mm -hmm. Like C5 here, for example. How do you think you'd handle that move? They can also play C5 without D6. That's how I like to do it. 
I would go C3. Yes, very smart. Mm-hmm. And see, this is an example of when you would play C3, knight I D2. I face that all the time. Mm-hmm. You and I have had like dozens and dozens of blitz games yeah. here. Yeah. Except, okay, maybe like it was here and it was, and I had a different move like that. But yeah, exactly right. Mm-hmm. Hey, what about, um, okay, knight D7, castles. What about this one? You remember that? We very briefly talked about that one mm-hmm. yesterday. I'm not going to remember, but I can. <laughs> you can suss it out, you know? Yeah. Think about how that changes the position. This is what you want to do. You want to say, how does my opponent's move in- interact with my position, mm-hmm. and I can do a different thing, or should I just do the same thing that I always do? Mm-hmm. I mean, it seems like we try to block off the diagonal, don't we? Like maybe even D5, but I don't know if that was the next thing. Not not quite. Oh. Not quite. C4? Well, I just don't remember. C4 is okay. C4 is not bad. Mm-hmm. Um, D5 is actually, I think, a little interesting, but you kind of weaken this, so I'd oh, be yeah. afraid of, like, knight h5. Mm-hmm. And y- you'd love it if, like, let's say you already had c4, knight c3. Yeah. You'd love to play, if they play c5, play d5. Yeah. That would be great to block their bishop, That's yes. True. But you're not really set up for that. But I recommended to play, let's see if anybody, oh, yes, Owen remembers. Owen remembers Yay. everything. A4. <laughs> A4, A5. You remember we talked about that? Oh, I remember to go run, chase an F, you know, and block yeah. the bishop. And in fact, we had a hand and brain game where yeah, you did play A4 did when I said pawn, <laughs> and that was exactly what I was thinking. Yeah, I just got all these ideas knocking around in my head. Mm-hmm. I do remember that now. But yeah, it makes a lot of sense when they fianchetto their queen's bishop mm-hmm. to go for A4, A5. And uh, th- that's absolutely a great idea. And black has a lot of ways to handle this. I was mentioning a game that Carlson had against the goose, G- Gadir Gusinov. Mm-hmm. And Goose played here. And so after this, Goose just took it. Yeah, pretty interesting stuff. He's saying, yeah, I got an isolated pawn, but you're just, like, wasting time. And I'm going to play aggressively, like, making a pawn break, and you're not developed, and you have to take back the pawn. And Computer said it's about equal, so Black can totally do this. But you don't have to do this with Black if you're afraid of having a bad pawn structure. Mm-hmm. You know, you, you could play, like, A5, but that does weaken the white squares a bit. So is that considered a bad pawn structure for... Here? Yeah, you said something about... Yeah, you got an isolated pawn. Right, but... Okay. Yeah, that's all. Is you just get a permanent weakness here. But white is wasting time in order to do that, you know, in order to give you that isolated pawn. Mm -hmm. And black is, like, playing it quickly, saying that the tempo is more important. Yeah, I guess I just should worry. I haven't worried too much about... An isolated rook pawn because usually it's a while before I move the rook anyway. But I guess. Well, I it think is Magnus just took it right away here, actually. Yeah. With rook takes a five, so. I meant with the a seven mm-hmm. pawn. Well, I'm saying that he moved his rook, so he took it. Oh. And and it's a half open file against the the a pawns, so. So yeah, I mean it's it's a weak pawn. Yeah, it is. I just haven't really thought about it. But a lot of times you're like, I don't care about long term advantages. That's you. Like, oh, I have the bishop here, but I don't know how to use that, right? Like earlier you said. I do care about long-term advantages. But you should care about it more just because you play such solid openings. No, I do care. It's not that I don't care about it. I'm just saying I can't always fully take advantage of That's true. Of some things because of my knowledge level. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's all. Not that I don't care about it. <laughs> all right. Seems like it. <laughs> not true. No, Okay. So, yeah, that's about all you need to know about the King's Indian, uh, King's Indian London, London King's Indian style. Mm -hmm. And I think that's everything that, I think we reviewed everything that we, uh, that we had already. Okay. I should, I'll try to spend some time on my own and go back, maybe even just watch this stream again. Mm -hmm. Because I think if I go over it another time or two, it'll be more solid. Because be I don't true. really, I don't really know any openings very well, so I don't have a, a broader context. So, like you were saying, when you learn openings, you think, "Oh, it's like this opening." Well, I don't mm-hmm. really have that. <laughs> Karen is unbeatable with white now. <laughs> what happens if black just ignores a four, a five? Uh, yeah, I mean, I would say white could like keep the tension there. Like, he doesn't have to take right away. Maybe, for example, you want to move your rook at some point, and then white will take and have the A file to himself. Like, that tension is favoring white. 
so that's the, like white's rook on a1 is good and black's rook on a8 is more passive so if you want to activate your rook from a8 then i'll take and open up the a file um or white can even play like after a5 play a6 and that pawn could be very strong in the end game you know a lot of times if you have a pawn is already that close to queening mm -hmm. uh you can really uh like you could do something like a sacrifice on on b6 later and then the pawn is forced through um like in the game uh, fisher feingold for example well it's not i think it was on the other side of the board but there's also the situation where he had a very far advanced pawn and in a bishop end game he could sacrifice on i think it was g6 but it's the same idea mm -hmm. and the pass pawn would have been unstoppable if yeah. rook takes a5 c5 yeah i'll just move my rook back i think that might have been how the game went actually the carlson gusinov game kangaroo i don't i don't really remember exactly yeah yeah so should we try to play hand and brain yeah, or we something could do some hand all right and brain. I think we'll do hand and brain if anybody wants to challenge. Thank yeah. you, Abe Froman, 4444. We already have a couple of challenges here already. Um, if they're still there, sometimes those are just... Oh, sides, sides matching people today. Hey, thank you, Cy Bradbury. Um, real quick, let's see. What are people talking about? More chess and less idle chatter. <laughs> Karen ignores me now. I don't ignore you, <laughs> Pam. We're just busy trying to do some chess. That's what you get for going to air extreme. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, I'm definitely not ignoring people. But um, I have to focus with everything in me to remember even, you know, 10% of it. But That's um, true. Yay. All right, so who should we play? Um, mm -hmm. We could play... The first did yeah, we, we played him already, didn't we? I don't remember if you played him. I we played we this did. guy already. Mm -hmm. How about Pawn Demonium? It seems like a name for. Oh, but it's only three, three minutes. minutes. That's seems too hard. fast for. Probably five minutes is the best if, for hand and brain. I love three minute. This Thanks, just Pinky, again. Playing. We're definitely not going to do a 15 10. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a little too slow for a stream. <laughs> we didn't play Juarez. I didn't think that we that you did. Then we will. You All must right. be Juarez. Do you want to be the hand or brain? Mm -hmm. uh, let me drive this time. All right. Hand time. All right. I'll be the brain. I'll be like Pinky. No, wait. You are Pinky and I'm the brain? I mean, before we go, thank you, Cy Bradbury. Classic Cy Bradbury over there. You were there, too. It was a joke. Hmm? She might not be talking to me. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm going to... Um, I, I don't have time to backtrack at the Pawn. moment to um, see what we're missing here. Pawn. Knight. I'm just going to try to go as fast Bishop. as I can. <laughs> That's dusty. I wish I had a Coke. King. And Coke's not really very healthy. That's true. You have to be careful. For some reason, the sweet tea gives me headaches. Pawn. Um, I don't know this. Knight. Pawn. Let's see. Let's play. Pawn. Hmm. I'm really good at saying pawn. It's most <laughs> of what I say. Hmm. Bishop. Very good. <laughs> the only bishop who didn't hang a bishop. <laughs> I did it. 
scare me. You'll bring me one? Queen. Going too slow. Not too too slow, but yes, too slow. Just a little bit. Mm. Hmm. Um. Night. Pawn. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. We need to catch up on time too. Mhm. Mm they're probably trying to play Knight Takes E4, and they're like, "Why can't I do it?" Maybe. Just kidding. A little bit. <laughs> Pawn. Rush me. I didn't. I just said pawn. <laughs> <laughs> We're almost caught up on time. Night. No, I see. Queen. Nice. <laughs> really good. Exactly what I was thinking, yes. I read your mind. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was trying to make sure there wasn't a horizontal move that there wasn't where I wasn't meaning to take because I tend to retreat more than I should. Bishop. But always retreat, so that's mm -hmm. all right. Yeah. Our position's not too bad, I would say. Knight. Um. Yes, the correct emote by Kangaroo there. Yeah, I need to add a couple emotes. And we're still a bit behind on time. That's true. <laughs> and people saying, I'm very suspicious this guy's sovereign. Harmonious. Hand and brain buffoon, it says the debugger to be. Yeah, we're hand and braining the uh, the viewers. Hey, Mango King. Hey, frat. Night. Doodling dude, if you're out there, you know. Rest in peace. <laughs> Bishop. We'll oh, 25 emotes shared. Yay. Thank you, Pam. And some, uh, Something had to have happened some there. bits. Oh, she cheered. Well, let me, I got She said she loves us to bits, but Aww. move your bishop. Okay. Bishop. Oh, At least you're playing faster. Bishop. Bishop. Um, 
obviously I'm not putting the dishes where you want it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me try. I just can't stand that guy anymore. So that's the way I feel about it. Bishop. only one legal bishop move. Come I on. know, but I was trying to figure out what, what you have in mind. Just play the only legal move. All right. Don't even. You're playing too slow. Um, bishop. <laughs> only one legal move. Rook. Pawn. Something oh, there's Sai. Yay, thank you, Sai. They got nothing. Look at them. They're like, oh, I got nothing. That's what they're thinking right now. Yeah? Yeah. You know it. I don't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> I just know that we're low on time. I don't like it when we don't have a lot of time. I Don't Know Anything is a good song by the band Mad Season. Rook. Queen. 200 cent to do's by GM Ben Feingold. Um, pawn. I'm just going to have to move fast pawn. at this point. Cause Bishop. Bishop. Queen. Uh, we'll cry about it later. Just move your queen. All right. Queen. Queen. All right, now play on your own. I'm not going to tell you anymore. Go, Karen. Cy Bradbury again. Faster. Maybe some pre moves might be appropriate. Right. Dang, you almost made one pre move though. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Is that what? It's nice. hard when it gets so low. Darn. Good game. That was a good game, General Juarez. Yeah, let's analyze it a bit. Yeah. Hint, let me just look at the chat for a second. Yeah, cry about it later. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Trying to get with the stream. <laughs> um, all right. You guys aren't talking about anything. I usually uh, play bishop e7 here, yeah. but I know that you don't do that, so I was afraid if I said bishop you'd play like here which I don't like. Oh, that's okay. I wouldn't play that. Would you have gone here? I would have been confused because of the move order. Yeah, but I like but that I move wouldn't. order more for technical reasons. Yeah, but I wouldn't have played that. Now, this is not a great move. It's a little bit too passive. You know, you're sort of mixing two openings here, the semi-slav and the queen's gambit declined. In the semi-slav, black wants to, they play c6 early, mm -hmm. like earlier than castling and such because they want to take and potentially win the pawn, which obviously you can't do that here, because if you ever take, they'll just take with the bishop. Yeah. Because you played a queen's gambit decline move order, mm -hmm. which is fine, but just don't play c6 and a queen's gambit decline then. Okay. You want to play with c5. That's the move, c5, attack the center. Uh, or you could play, actually, I, I would have played b6 if I was the hand yeah, It seems hand like brain. the c5 gives an outlay to an isolated pawn. It does. But That's the main line, is to get an isolated pawn, uh, yes. I'm only here for the chess. Um, 200 thank you for 200 clovers. Um, bits, not a lucky clover, though. Um, Just a regular clover. <laughs> Why are they talking about one flew over the cuckoo's nest? I'm just talking about great movies. 
Oh. Like, There Will Be Blood, the best movie. Yeah, that's a good movie. Yeah, it has da- my favorite actor and one of my favorite musicians in it, as yeah, you I'm told me. One, yeah, I'm the one that told you. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, I, I feel like somebody did tell me, but I forgot You were shocked you. when I told you. You were like, yeah. what? <laughs> hey, something happened. Thank Ray you, Brad, Cy Bradbury. Cy Brad, Ray. I, always, I always say Ray Bradbury, <laughs> or I always think it, at least. Yeah, Daniel Day-Lewis is, yeah, drinks, drinks your milkshake. milkshake. <laughs> yeah, he does. Man, he's a good actor. He was the musician. It's from uh, the lead guitarist from Radiohead. Mm-hmm. Greenwood? I don't know which Greenwood. It's uh, one of the two Greenwoods that exist. Mm-hmm. Fight Club and Seven. So just is this aren't they both Brad Pitt movies? Uh yeah. The uh, Brad Pitt I marathon. They are very good movies. Seven's a little hard to watch. So yeah, I like to play B six because that's what super GMs do. Although I don't really play Queen's Gambit Declined. But if I do, I, I would play B6 against Bishop mm-hmm. F4 variation. Uh, but yeah, C6 is just a little passive. So we were a little bit worse here. And this is terrible. Don't do that. I know, Awful. I never know which way to... Really bad. Is it because the bishop... Yeah, you want to develop your exposed. bishop. Yeah. You want to develop your bishop in a chess game. Yeah. Yeah, you got to take this way. The only reason you would ever take this way is to play knight C6, which is not possible. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like, that would be the only reason to do that. So if you want to play knight c6, you take this way. But here we just transpose to a queen's gambit declined exchange variation. This is just a normal, although he's got bishop f4 instead of, like, bishop g5. Mm-hmm. And bishop f4 might be better. So this could still provide an advantage for white. But um, anyways, you got to place e takes to develop your white square bishop. Okay. Definitely. C takes is terrible because I, I you weaken this square, yeah. you weaken that. I hesitated there, I didn't, but I was just trying to hurry. Yeah, now our uh, our queen side's really weak here. Mm-hmm. That's a good move. Yeah, I like when I said bishop because I was like, there's only one way that she can move the bishop, so that's, <laughs> she's got to do it. Queen, I was actually thinking queen e7, but queen a5 was probably better, so good job. Then mm-hmm. that move is bad. B3, I mean, we're not threatening anything. And if we were, you could just castle to get out of it anyway. So yeah. I would castle. Knight e4 is good. Yeah, got to play f5, right? So I thought we were all right here because we have the bishop pair. Mm. Queen, ex- same thing with the queen. You have to go there. Bishop e7 is correct. Now, I actually wanted knight d5 because I like to put my pieces in the center. Okay. And it also, I'm really afraid of this. I don't like them to do this and start the penetrata. On the second, yeah. Yeah. It makes sex look like a church. (laughs) (laughs) Knight h5. I think knight h5 is fine, though. Maybe even better. This was right. When I was saying bishop a lot, this was correct. Okay. But I I wanted you to go here now to develop this bishop. I see. Now, you were talking about, this knight's so annoying, I hate it. Yeah, that's true. That's why I would let him take my two bishops away. If he wants to. Oh, okay. Because his knight's really good, and this is my bad bishop. Mm-hmm. So, you know. And then I'll be left with this good bishop against this knight that's a little silly right now. So I think we're just better here. Uh, and if they don't take, we can do this and go over here like in a stone wall or a French. Mm-hmm. Then our bishop would be good. So that's why I wanted bishop d7. Instead, you're just moving back and forth. Every move. <laughs> Finally took it. I like this maneuver. You go here, you could have taken the knight. Then you go back and then take the knight. Well, then I th- <laughs> I didn't know that you were wanting me to move, so I thought you were unhappy with I, – I didn't really know exactly what you wanted, and I just decided rather than moving around a lot, I would just go ahead and get rid yeah, of it. Yeah, but I want you to move the only piece you haven't developed. Yeah. That's what I wanted. Yeah, this was all fine, though. Great. Really good. Definitely got to do that. Yeah, now you're just winning. Here I thought they would do this to win back their pawn, but you can actually go here to save the pawn. Oh, yeah. I, I was thinking I had to go here, but then we would take that. So, But I should also mention that when you blunder, uh, when I said bishop here, I wanted you to go here to defend the pawn. 
because our pawn's hanging. Yeah, I didn't see. All right, so you played here. This is actually a fine move, maybe even the best move, your move. Bishop b5 is a great move, genius move. Because after here, you could just go boom shock. This is why I said queen. Boom shakalaka. That's mate. Oh. And a knight, so we win. <laughs> we win. Darn. Yeah, but instead, I have to refresh because it, it makes me do that when we're looking at the game this way. Oh. Instead, uh, after a knight takes, you just moved your queen like sort of randomly because you were too flustered. This is where I said cry about it later. You can't let your emotions get the yeah. best of you. Queen c4 wins. You accidentally were winning. Yeah. So you can't be upset. Like, you don't even know what's going on. No. So be upset later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's true. And then uh, here I don't even think it's – I mean, it's lost, but in when you both have 20 seconds, I wouldn't even say that black's an underdog here. But you got to, like, attack the king, right? You have to play moves like you got to get your queen over here, mm -hmm. and you got to, like, play this as a surprise. Like, surprise f4, and then they're like, oh, my life. <laughs> They're like, oh, I'm, I'm root flag, you know? But instead, you, like, just play slow and let them win. Come on. Yeah, you never pre-move. Yeah. But other than playing too slowly, good game. I feel like I've said that before. <laughs> <laughs> so what are people doing? I think that, um, whom, this guy reminds me of Ben Feingold. <laughs> <laughs> so it probably should end soon, I'm thinking. We've yeah. Been streaming for how I think an hour and a half. Yeah, it says an hour and a half there. We're, oh yeah, I forgot it's got the ticker. That's kind of new, at least in my experience. Um, yeah, I think it, I think it is fairly new. Well, just because I've got to do some um, family type things, but I don't know. Ben said he was going to stream again. Oh, is that true? So the uh, the second stream mm -hmm. of the day, as usual. <laughs> hey, so Ben, are you ready to stream again? Thank you, Callie Gambler. Yeah, thank you, guys. Oh, he said he'll start thank now. Thank you, Cy Bradbury. And he said it's seven. But he said he'll also start now. Yeah, he just finished eating, so he could. That's do true. It. Um, I'm hungry. I'm starving. I was just <laughs> thinking that. Thank you, Debugger. Oh, Debugger. Today. Yeah, we're going to raid Ben um, and then figure out. I need to. I ha hey, do you have any food left, Ben? Glad you enjoyed it, Phil. Philig. Um, Take it easy, Bishop Takes. Yeah, thanks, Phil. Bishop Philig. Takes it easy. Bishop Takes. <laughs> hey, we can play another um, slow game if you want, Bishop Takes. Um, you thank got it, CL Smith. CL Smith, Chris Kane Zero. Yeah, we're going to continue streaming. Um, oh, they, they want to know if we'll continue analyzing, like, the London system or, or another opening. Well, I was thinking... Um, we could probably do a different opening, yeah, you know, in the future. Maybe yeah, and maybe even come back to the London. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there's That's more that we could it. do with them. I need to actually review it on my own a little because... Maybe we should do some uh, Queen's Gambit declined in the future. Yeah, because you think that's a good comparison? Because then I could. Oh, you play the Queen's Gambit Declined. I don't really play it. Oh, you're talking about it's black? Yeah, 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 that's what I mean. Oh, that's what I mean. Oh. Um, yeah. CL Smith good. wants it. Yeah, we could do that. Yeah. That is a good idea. People are loving QGD. <laughs> yeah, I do play it, but I hate it. Well, you play I it a little play too passively. I don't that's know why. what to play. Yeah, I hate that. It's a great opening, though. Oh, it is? Yeah, every Super GM plays it. You, oh, you name a super jam, they've played it. Okay, well, let's do that one then. All right. Because I play it anyway just because I don't know what to play, but I'm always complaining that it's too boring. Mm -hmm. Well, we and can spice it up. Sounds like I don't know. I need to learn how to play it. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> then it won't be so boring. Do the Dutch. I don't know the Dutch very well, unfortunately. Yeah. Otherwise, I might talk about it. Yeah, I think Archer plays the Dutch every once in a while. But he doesn't really know... Any of the openings are very deep, but he knows mm -hmm. a lot of openings. Um, Anyways, we should raid him because he's. Uh, I can okay. hear him talking already. <laughs> All right, so we're going to raid Ben now. Thank you guys so much for coming. I'm going to first end the stream. Stop the stream. Bye. Bye, guys. We'll see you soon. Not tomorrow, but probably Tuesday. See ya.